Everyone has something they're willing to fight for. Could be family, friends, your beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? Guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself. But I was not ready to hear it. Honorable Judge Maya Bird presiding in the case of people of the state of New York versus Alfred Hound. Defendant charged with attempted grand larceny. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I see. Officer, please remove her cuffs. Now, before we begin, perhaps you should reacquaint yourself with your many previous encounters with the law. Nothing like a trip down memory lane. Haven't seen this in a while. Not my best angle. Why are you here, Frey? Grand larceny? Is that who you really are? No, it's just... I needed the cash for... Never mind. Sooner or later, you're going to have to start taking accountability for your actions. Are you familiar with the Persistent Felony Offender Law, also known as the Three Strikes Law? Wait, you can't do that. I never hurt anyone. Just yourself. You have two previous felony thefts, and with this new one, your grand total will be three. This could put you away for a very, very long time. You have so much potential. I, I can do so much more. more with my life. That was close. That judge might have just saved my ass. Won't get that lucky again. Hey, 
excuse me, your phone. Oh my gosh, uh, thank you so much. No worries, happens to all of us. You saved my life, seriously. Happy holidays. Um, happy holidays. I should get back to Homer. Poor girl needs her dinner. I need to go straight home. I hate the cold. Gotta get inside. I hope I never see the inside of a courtroom again. Hello? Goodbye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, Ray, <laughs> thought we wouldn't find you? Hey, uh, uh, Lisa. Lisa? Really? I thought she was Lisa. That's Chrissy! Huh. Well, in my defense, you don't really look like a Lisa. <laughs> uh, where is it? <clears throat> oh, I don't have it, all right? There were complications. Not like I wanted to get caught stealing the car, but here we are. We don't like complications. You are running out of chances. Yeah, I've been hearing that one a lot today. Get the car back. It's not that easy. It's been impounded. I'm not so special about this car anyway. It's none of your damn business. Our boss, Mr. Giggin, is very unhappy. So unless you get it back, one of us is gonna be in a lot of pain. Do I get to pick? <laughs> Keep choking. We will leave your body in this fucking alley, and I promise you, no one is gonna miss you. No. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll just tell your boss, Mr. Kickin. Giggin. Giggin. Giggin! All right, kick, kick, quick, kick, 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 quick, kick. I, I just tell him. I, I, I need some more time. But, but for now, here's some collateral. No turning back now. Uh, oh, are you okay? Oh, shit, I, I have to go. I I'm so sorry. I gotta find a way out of here. Where the fuck are you, Frank? Yeah, there's no point in running, you know? Maybe it's safer to go through the alley.
Homer must be waiting for me. Better get inside before I freeze. The Holland Who leaves a newborn baby on the street. Well, at least it wasn't the Queen's Midtown Tunnel. That would have been an awful last name. My favorite kicks. I could stare at you guys all day. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Alice. Wish I could find that rabbit hole and tumble away to Wonderland. She doesn't like this. Finally, I can start over. Took long enough, though. <laughs> 